our break yesterday over on Reventuli Coast was a huge success, getting us two diamonds, including one diamond that we didn't yet have in the Willow Ptarmigan, but it was just that, a short break from the Black Bear grind, and we're back out here again today on Silver Ridge Peaks to continue. We are about 810 kills in, approaching 1000, and hopefully getting closer and closer to that ultimate goal. And it seems like we always end up starting off with a level 6, this one with a pretty good shot at being a gold at 19 to 21 score estimate. But taking a 300 meter shot, that's something that I tend to think is a good idea because let's say there was a black bear maybe over here in the reeds where we can't see. If we're taking that 300 meter shot and these reeds are 200 meters plus away, then at the very least any bear that maybe is in there and can't be seen isn't going to spook as we're running around here and maybe we could get a warning call or something to let us know that there's another one we actually want to take. In this case, no sign of any other bears, but it is a gold to start off with at 19.6. I always consider that a good sign starting with a gold and we'll see where we go from here. And from one level six to the next, although this one is the polar opposite in terms of score estimate, another approximately 300 meter shot. Now in this case, it is a little bit different. And it actually turned out at that last spot, the same thing kind of applied, I just didn't realize it was an area like that. So as we get closer, as we approach maybe 300 meters or a little bit under, we'll start to see reeds over on that side of the lake render in. And that actually makes that shot tough. So that's, I guess, another reason on top of what I mentioned to take those longer shots. But starting off with two potential goals here, some runs start off that way, some runs start off worse, some runs start off even better, and that was the case about two runs ago, yesterday while on the Black Bear Grind. We have yet another level 9, 22 to 25 again, choosing a bit of an odd spot to drink nervous, but not too bad to bring down with the 300. I spooked him, literally the first bear of the run, spooked him from the reeds down here, and fortunately he didn't go far before going nervous, but that is level 9 number 4. Fingers crossed for 4 for 4 on level 9s being diamonds, but it's really encouraging to, to see 9 start to become more frequent. I want to say Dusky Fur Type again, and he is, and he's a 23.1 diamond. 4 out of 4, and that's not the highest weight for him to be over 23. Not half bad hard shot there at 163 meters, and that, I like that. I like to see the amount of nines that have started to show up. When we were going, you know, 400 kills, hadn't had a nine yet, I was wondering if we were maybe doing something wrong, but I think sometimes things just kind of have to balance themselves out. We're getting close to averaging one every 200 kills now. I guess we are actually averaging that. I genuinely have been enjoying this grind. And that's partially the reason there's been so much Black Bear content between the grinds and the streams and the guides and all that stuff, but it really has helped to start to see those level 9s. That was a gold as well, by the way, not bad. But uh, after 400 kills and not getting any 9s, I was starting to get a little bit discouraged, but in the last 400 kills now, 4 diamonds, you may have noticed I had a diamond in the guide on Thursday, which I hadn't had in any other videos. I did show the other two previous diamonds as well, but there was one new one in there, and the last one there, the start of that run makes four now, is looking a little bit kind of scarce here at the Mule Deer Outpost Lake. Is that... I never see a bear over there. That's kind of odd. It's not actually drinking yet, so maybe it's just the direction it's coming from. But a 3, a 4, and a 5 here. Now, I'm probably going to reiterate this throughout the grind because otherwise it might get a bit confusing. I check most lakes on every run twice, and I always go here early in order to get any bears that are here at that time. And my theory is that I'm actually saving myself a little bit of struggle in the later time when there's probably going to be 10 to 15 male bears here. Unfortunately, three little ones and nothing crazy so far. I don't think... Is that the same one? It might be. I never saw it come out of the reeds, but it is a level 4. I'm going to switch to the 308 just for the sake of getting a quick follow-up. And I think that is three male black bears down. Nothing exactly very big, but in theory when we come back here in about 15-20 minutes, it'll be three less bears we have to worry about when there's just black bears going in every direction. 
But then our level 5, which all these are going to be silvers or below. Double lung, barely almost shot too high there at 137 meters. Our level 3, which was no big deal being out of the reeds. They do a lot of this. This is kind of like a... And it looks weird in the hardest screen, but it's a part of their alert alarmed animation. And surprisingly, a lot of them don't even stand on their hind legs when they hear a shot. They just kind of stand around, look around for a minute, and then take off. Uh, and you can get the shots that way. But finally, this guy that was in the reeds and we couldn't see that well. There must have been one other one in the area because I have a heavier track than all three of those. But actually, oddly enough, only two hits. So... Even that one ended up being the silver. It's occurred to me over the course of this particular run that there's something about Black Bear that I just really enjoy the grind, and that is such a frequent thing now. I'm shooting through standing bears all the time. I have no idea why it's happening, but uh, we'll make sure we get that shot off and I'll continue my thought here. I always said that I thought I would struggle for grinding an animal that doesn't have antlers. Because on like the white tail grind or the red deer grind, seeing even like a big gold and, and sizable antlers always was motivating, I guess. But there is something about black bear, even though a level 2 and a level 9 look exactly the same. I just enjoy the grind and maybe it just is seeing the results, seeing the diamonds, despite the fact that there is no visible differentiation between, you know, a silver and a diamond. But... I don't know. I thought this was going to be a tougher grind than it was mentally. As of now, at least, as, as things are at the present moment, I think I might be having more fun with this than the Red Deer. Finally, a level 7, though. That's kind of where I was going with this. That is the first thing above level 6 this entire run. And I normally, on any grind video, I'll cut out a lot of the smaller kills. Uh, lots of 4s and 5s today. But finally, the CL level 7 is good. That's three now at this lake. And again, it's the reason why I check my spots twice. This is where we started. Running out of that outpost is where we did a little intro. And now here we are back with three male bears that were not here at the beginning of their drink time. I don't know what's happening here. I think it's trying to float, but the water's not deep enough. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. I, it looks like the way that they kind of float on the surface of the water, but our first guaranteed gold at 20.3 with a right lung shot, and then we still have a level 6 over across on this side. And for that level 6, we have, I think our first silver level 6 thus far, 19 left lung, so that's point two shy of being a gold, but finally we're kind of getting into what I'll call the more interesting part of the run. We're going to go and check this other lake over here where we shot our first bear, and then not too long from then, we're going to be going down here to the Mule Deer Outpost again, and that's the one that usually is interesting. I think it doesn't matter. I mean, it could be all level 2s, which is probably impossible just given the level spread all over the map and the amount of bears that are there. That lake will probably be shown in every video, because it's just so crucial to getting the amount of kills that we do every run. Ooh, our first mythical of this run. And you know, weirdly enough... This was one of the lakes that I pointed out in my guide as being one of my top two. And as of late, it's kind of started to fall off, at least to be consistent with three males. Now it's got two on this run, and I really wouldn't be shocked if he came back later if it would have at least one more to at least get to that total of having three. But it definitely seems to be a little less consistent. I was getting four, five, maybe even six bears here, and I kind of wonder... If it's because I've had more success up here at the Northern Bear Wallow Basin Lake. I've started hunting it a little bit differently, and I'm getting more males there every run. I kind of wonder if that actually is the reason. Maybe we'll jump up there real quick before we go to the Mule Deer Outpost Lake. And that's not to say we're going to get very many there, if any. But assuming that respawns kind of could move around, and because that lake's fairly close, that might have something to do with it. But... As for this run, our biggest bear thus far, a level 8, 21.4 as most of our mythicals end up being kind of in that mid-21 range. And that's 1837, I think we can, we can make time to jump up here quick. And there is nothing at all here. Now, I did have one level 5 on my first check of this lake earlier, but 
I don't know. Maybe things are just kind of shifting around. That tends to be the case on the grinds, but a little unfortunate that I just kind of mentioned that as one of my better leagues down south, and it's starting to kind of change a bit. But now for the most interesting lake, the lake where we get the majority of our bears every run, and it's looking like in this case, even though we can't spot everything, nothing at first glance is all that big. So I always start with the ones on the left. I find that they are more likely to run in a direction that doesn't allow us to uh, get follow-up shots in. That, although the last shot wasn't that great, is the four from R300. Now we'll go 308 and at least try to get some extras. Still, and I don't know what's going to come running out of the reeds that we didn't get spotted, but still nothing to speak of size-wise. I do find the 308, once we get to that, is just the best thing to stick with, by the way. I will reload and sometimes reload twice using that, just because the reload animation is so quick. I don't see any others moving. I would have liked to got, have gotten here a little bit earlier, just because it kind of helps seeing those ones that are running in the distance a bit more. Got one. I don't know where that came from. Weird spot for it to, to be running out of, but can try to get that one as well. Tough angle. I actually got it pretty decently. A lot of times, there's another over there. A lot of times, they'll kind of run to our right side. None have done that. Which is actually not that bad. It can be tough. There's so many trees, so much brush, it can be tough to get them. Probably it's better that they go the way that they did. I don't know where these bears are coming from. Unless they're drinking up there on the hillside. Which wouldn't surprise me, the amount of bears that are in this area. I don't know how they could get over there without me noticing. I also don't know how we didn't get a long shot. That one will be. This is why I'm kind of patient at this spot. And it's also why I save it for basically last. Because then I can sit here and, and watch and see if anything else appears. We have like a, a bare minimum. Is there one up there still? There is. Or two, in fact. It's just never ending, but we'll have to, to go through and count. That was what I was about to do before spotting these couple. And again... Getting here a little bit earlier would have been good. Where did the other one go? I mean, again, it's likely to run in a direction where we'll be able to see it, I think. Now that was our seven. That's the five that we saw. And sticking with the 308, as you can see, it does just fine. The 300, of course, is going to bring them down a bit more quickly, but the 308 does a good job. And again, I mean, they can't really go anywhere. They just kind of run in a half circle around here. I wouldn't be shocked if we got into the double digits there. We got a lot of bears down. Now, it's worth noting, we are sitting at 22 bears on this run thus far, and as I said, I, I don't show them all. I probably didn't even show half up until this point, just because they were a bunch of fours and fives and things get a bit repetitive, but we'll see where we end up after this lake, and we will keep count. This being our first A level five silver, and unfortunately, I think most are going to be silvers or below. A couple of golds in there, though, I would expect. We've got number two and three here. There's a gold from our level seven. Silver from the six. Two more up here. Yeah, yeah, we had to have gone over ten if there's still two up here. Because these will be number four and five. This one was a level five. Hopefully this one will be a little bit bigger. And actually it was a five as well. It did seem like it was primarily level fives in here. We got six, seven, and eight there. And nine, I think. There are going to be nine after these couple. So we got eleven or twelve. Not too bad. There is another gold for our ninth black bear. I know there are at least two over here from what I could see. And I think it is exactly two. So if I'm not mistaken, 11 bears, that would bring us to 33 total on this run. And we could absolutely uh, continue. They still drink for about 15 real minutes. But once it gets dark, and especially if I've gotten to all the lakes that I want to get to, Normally, I'll just kind of restart. I think it's almost diminishing returns at that point. You know, maybe jumping around and getting one or two more bears as opposed to starting over with a potential opportunity to get 30 more. But uh, it was this lake where we had yet another trophy bear. And again, as I mentioned when we got here, no surprise that a lot of our trophies are coming from this spot. We had yet another rare on the grind at this little spot. If I'm not mistaken, that one walking around back there is a brown fur type and my only worry here is I don't know if we can get it from the tripod and of course that is a bit of an issue when it comes to this spot I really don't want to be deleting zones and doing any of that so 
Yeah, there's not really much of a shot window in there. I'm almost tempted to just go ahead and kind of start shooting some of the bears and see what happens. I'm going to just sort of hope that he runs out. And I guess we'll try to get him with the 308. I see all the common bears. That's him right there. That, I think, is a brown. The cinnamons are a much more kind of reddish color. But naturally, no shot window in there at all. He has a level 4, which I guess I was talking about having all 5s for our rares. So maybe that's a bit of an improvement. That was a opportunity anyway. I think that's going to be a lung and vertebra hit, so that'll work. And just a little bit of... Call it cleanup, I guess, on some of the bears that are running by this way. At least two coming through. And definitely a little less than ideal in trying to get a shot at the rare, we'll call it. I, I want to say brown fur type, but I could be wrong. Still, though, not half bad. You know, I'm not so sure that that isn't a blonde fur type in slightly darker lighting. It was. That's interesting, I guess... That leaves us with one rare still to uh, strive to get, but actually double lung and vertebrae to bring that down. So that leaves us going back to the trophy lodge with two uh, trophy bears. And I know that because so much is happening in such a short period of time, the kill totals as I'm talking about them with the rares and the diamonds kind of jump around, but hopefully that kind of has us more caught up. There's been, th there was one day where I think we had three diamonds and two rares or something and Getting all that in one video would have been maybe a bit much, so they've been spread out and hopefully now things are going to align a little bit better. But we'll go to what I guess is now just kind of our Great One Grind Lodge in general, Red Deer and Black Bear in here. So real quick, the Diamond Black Bear from the Guide, a Dusky Fur Type 23.3. The one from today, a Dusky Fur Type 23.1. Have all of them been 23s? We had a 22.9 for, I think, our second one. The rest have been 23 plus. But then, two more rares. I don't know if I had this cinnamon in a video or not. I think I did. But if not, we had a 17.5. All of our rares have been level 5s or below. This one, a level 4 blonde. But I'm just happy to see the rares. And that does, after today's grind, we'd be at 843 kills, I believe. Eight trophy bears. Four rares, four diamonds. 1 in 100 is pretty good. Our red deer total was closer to 1 in 200 rares and diamonds combined. So, if the black bear continue as they are, I think maybe we're going to have a better time with this grind. But anyway, that is going to do it for this video, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.